is Alexa and in today's video I have this Kylie Jenner crystallized dress. However, mine is not crystallized. Mine is sequenced. I've been wanting to recreate this dress for a while now. She wore this for New York Fashion Week a couple seasons ago and ever since I've seen the dress on Instagram, I was in love with it. Um, the designer is amazing. All of his designs are just out of this world. So until I actually go out and buy one of his dresses, I will DIY it for now. But it turned out way better than I expected it to. I didn't think it was going to turn out like how I envisioned it. I thought I was gonna end up quitting after three hours. It was nuts. So if you guys want to see just how much hard work I put into this dress, keep watching. For this tutorial, you will need bodice patterns. I will add the link that I used to recreate mine. A 24 inch invisible zipper. One yard of stretchy nude mesh material. 16 to 20 yards of sequence trim. You're more than welcome to use crystal trim, however it is like three times more expensive. A marker and pen, fabric shears, a ruler, scissors, pins, measuring tape, and tracing paper. Cut out a piece of tracing paper that is the desired length of your dress and fold it in half. I wanted to do a mini so I measured out 34 inches. Take your front bodice pattern with the bust start and trace on the center line fold. Take your bottom pattern, place it right under the front bodice and trace. With your tape, measure how long you want your dress and mark it with your ruler. My dress came out to be 30 and a half inches. Remember, this is a bodycon dress that will stretch, so adjust where needed. I cinched the waist, took off half an inch on the top body, and made the shoulder width smaller. I ended up taking a full 2 inches off of the shoulder and widening the hip area. Go ahead and add your half inch seam allowance all around your pattern. After the fact, I found out that adding seam allowance was a little unnecessary because the fabric stretched so much, but it's always good to have it just in case. Cut out your front pattern. Don't forget to punch and slit your bust dart. To make your bag pattern, cut another piece of tracing paper and fold it in half. On the center back fold, add a 1 inch seam allowance for your zipper. Place it on top of your front pattern and pin to place. Remember your center front should line up where the 1 inch seam allowance starts. Trace the bottom half of your front pattern and stop at the top of the side seam. Take your back pattern, line it up, and trace. My bodice pattern already has seam allowance, which is why I aligned it with the fold. If yours does not, line it up with the new seam allowance line. Make any fit adjustments and cut out your pattern. Because this dress is supposed to be kind of like a see-through mesh dress, we won't be adding lining, so we will make facing patterns to hem the neck, arm, and bottom opening. Cut a strip of tracing paper and trace each pattern opening with a width of 1 inch. Carefully cut your front and back patterns onto your mesh material. You'll need one front piece and two half back pieces.
slit your bust darts and add a pin to your bust point. Cut out your facing pieces. You'll need two of each except for the front neck opening. To sew your dart, meet the two slits and sew a straight stitch up to your bust point. Okay, now to add your trim onto your dress. This part is fun, but also a pain. I wanted to keep the design somewhat similar to Kylie's dress, so I kept a photo near me for reference. As much as I would have wanted to use crystals, the only way I could see myself adhering them to the dress would be glue, and I really didn't want to do that, especially because the dress was mesh. If you do go with sequins, I suggest getting a simple trim, and one that doesn't have a lot of tiny trim weaved into one. The one I picked out had different silver twines weaved around the sequins, which made it a lot harder to sew. For the trim ends, I folded the end back to stop the strands from fraying. At this point, I'm just eyeballing the design and making it look somewhat similar to Kylie's dress. I picked up 16 yards of trim, so unfortunately I wasn't able to fill the entire dress as I wanted. So I tried to make the design look as cute as I could with whatever I had. I sewed down using a wide zigzag stitch. To hem the openings, place the front piece with the right side facing up and place the facing pieces on top. I sewed down using a tiny zigzag stitch to add a little bit of stretch. For the front neck opening, I dropped it lower because the front piece stretched a lot when sewing down the trim. Repeat to the back piece. Cut off excess seam allowance and finish the hem. To finish the hem, you have two options. You can either do a rolled hem where you take the facing and you fold it over in half once and then you fold it over again and sew down with a stitch. Or you could do option two where you just fold over the facing once and then secure it with a stitch and cut off any excess as close as you can to the seam. I ended up using option 2 for pretty much all the rest of the facings only because it was a lot easier and so much cleaner. Place your two bag pieces together with the right sides facing each other and place the zipper on the center back edge. Measure how far you want your zipper to go and mark it down with a pin. Go ahead and sew a straight stitch all the way down the rest of the center back edge. I already knew the back design wouldn't match the front design so I wasn't too particular on where the placement was for the back design. I also didn't have much trim left over so I just made a simple V design.
Place your two pieces together with the right sides facing each other and sew a straight stitch down the side seam and the shoulder seam. The material stretched so much that my half inch seam allowance became a one inch seam allowance. So in a later clip, you'll see me cutting off all the excess that I didn't use. Sew down your invisible zipper onto the center back of your dress. Cut off any excess and clean up the seam allowance with a wide zigzag stitch. To finish the bottom hem, cut a scrap of mesh that wraps around the opening and is 2 inches wide. Sew the two ends together to make a big circle. Pin the circle on the outside of your dress and sew down with a tiny zigzag stitch. Use the rolled hem method to finish the hem of the dress. And the dress is finished. I really wish I picked up a lot more sequins that way I could do a better design but it came out better than I expected it to so if you guys do do this dress I suggest adding way more bling that way your dress could be 10 times better. Today, um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because I did work very hard on this dress. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do so down below. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Blog Lovin. And if you guys do have any other suggestions or you guys want to see me recreate something, maybe that one of the Jenners or the Kardashians wore, definitely you know put it in the comments. Let me know, and I will try to do my best to fulfill your guys' needs. So that is it and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!